Good morning, Cravers. Today is February 27th. Yeah, February 27th. Gonna do something very fun today and I hope that you enjoy it. Right now we are in the crazy old unorganized lair. Yeah. Um, so today guys, I had put up a questionnaire about, and I did this way before I moved, doing a tutorial or like a video. I try to figure out how I'm gonna do this about um, creating sticker kits. And then I had a lot of um, people were like, yeah, please, you know. So, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm really, really excited. Okay, oh my gosh. So I don't, you know, exactly <sighs> have my office ready, but it's looking so cute. I mean, this is not a permanent solution here. This is, you can tell by the colors um of where i'm going with this right yeah so first things first i need to put this up for now y'all my office is an absolute mess i am just trying to get things together and we're going to search for um ways that you can create sticker kits now i do want to let everybody know that everybody who has a sticker shop do not or are not artists you know me i am a very lazy artist i'm gonna be honest i know people are like oh you know sandy but sandy sandy do do have shortcuts and and that is okay it's just that with my timing with everything being a being a mom <laughs> and everything i just um i try to look for inspiration in pictures and stuff sometimes you may like a color palette sometimes you may like um a certain like flower or image and everything but guys i'm so excited look at my case look at my new case i'm so excited for this so cute and if i try to match it you know well not try actually i mean very close i mean but it's, it's about as good as it's gonna get i might have to give another tripod for this one because this is just my table one I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see. Absolutely not. No. Mm -mm. So excited! I got my babe box from Honey Bee Shop. That is another sticker shop that I support. I have two of these that I really want to. But I think starting from March, what I want to do is go ahead and start with probably this sticker set in here, and then um, work her stuff into my notique. But anyway, guys, let me go ahead and get you guys onto my other tripod so you can see a lot more on this hold on a second okay so now i have you on my other tripod and i'm just really um it's just i cannot wait to get this whole office together i'm gonna be getting a desk that will be coming in a couple of weeks because i haven't even ordered yet i'm just getting everything that i would love to have down here and just going i would like to have a place where like a rack where I can fill my orders because I think with having such a table you know what I'm saying like takes up more space should I say and having a a metal shelf um, will help with all of that you know what I'm saying I'm just doing stickers so like I should be able to lay out you know the different orders and just fill them as I go so that is what I tend to do for over here on this wall and tend um, I did not know and I realized that you could actually mount these. Don't know if I want to do that. I probably get one of those, um, those like the white shells with like no, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to insert a picture right here, one of those. And probably put it up here and have them, because I'm going to get another one of these. I got this from the container store. And this is where I'm going to store all my die cuts and stuff. Right now I do have die cuts, my charms, my um, washi tapes in here and keychains. Having a sticker shop, I mean, if you are an artist, that is great, you know. I use, I, I will I will use images uh, to create what I'm trying to create. And it really depends on how you do it, muses and styles that people have. And I know some people that use realism and turn it to a whole nother just by using that image alone. And it's just really crazy. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and um, go ahead into this computer. So today's what we're going to be doing getting ready for spring right I, I think i want to at least have two spring kits i uh, don't know what they're gonna look like yet 
but at least two. And I know one of the places that I will go to is Etsy. And Etsy is a nice place because you can put in spring clip art. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm seeing right here. Um, so with spring clip art, let me show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys like right here. This is, I know this is kind of crazy. Spring clip art, you see all these different types of things. Of course, you know with spring always comes with Easter. Um, I like I like these where you can get like different like background settings and things like this. This is really cute. Now I will say with people in their like sport, like when you do buy someone's clip art, they will have listed as far as commercial use and with commercial uses and see this, this paper, this is a paper star studio. I love me a good black and white floral set. Oh my gosh, y'all. Uh, I love me a good black and white. So when you, you know, look around, you'll see if somebody had commercial use and it will tell you that you can't use it for commercial use. Um, those are the ones you want to look for because you know, you're paying to use someone's art, you know? And then also make sure that you give them credit for art because they created it. Why Why take all the credit? You didn't, you know what I'm saying? I like to do this because when you look at these, this would give you some sort of idea. I mean, it's just like going on Google and searching like particular images. It gives you the idea on what you want to do. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I don't know. It's a, I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see. I tell you, her clip art is nice. I like it. That is cute. Um, and look, and they will have like seasonal sales for everything. Now I know you probably have seen these clip arts before, um, and because a lot of people will use the same, you know, vendors for clip art. And oh my God, I love this. I love anything with zodiacs on them. Like, look at this, y'all. Look at this. <gasps> Where's a Gemini on there? I need to see a Gemini. I'm so thirsty, y'all. <gasps> Here's Gemini. Yes. That's awesome. That is really nice. I like that. And then now you see the prices. Now, let me see something here. I know, I don't know what the clip art is included. You don't accept customs. Yeah, Tanya is the bomb, y'all. The bomb. Ooh, I should do something with butterflies. I should do something with, that's something different I never really used in my shop. I definitely wanna do some type of honeycomb theme. Ooh, look at this, y'all, look at this. Look at this. Arr, look at this, look at this. That is so nice. All right, so, so far I do know I want to do like a honeycomb one. What do you guys think? Ooh, I think I just got an idea. If I do a honeycomb, I think I'm getting back into the point where if I do a, a, a set, I want to do a, um, I would love to do a, um, gosh, what am I trying to say, y'all? <laughs> ah, my creative juices is flowing. And you see how that just worked like that? Sometimes if I want to use clip art, I can. Let's do, let's do honeycomb clip art, okay? because I think what I want to do is a pink and a, and a yellow, like a lemonade pink, Ooh, lemonade pink. That'd be cute, that'd be cute. Oops, okay. honeycomb clip art. Let's look at honeycomb clip art really quick. Look at, look at all that, y'all. Look at all of that. So I could use like the honeycombs here if I want. Um, you see, this is six dollars ninety cents. Uh, if I want to use this type of clip art, I like this too. See what I'm saying? This is a clip art digital commercial use instant downloads, a dollar eighty. Like if I do, I will. I love these two contrasts here, as you can see. You know what I'm saying? I love these two. You know what? I really like. No, I don't. Never mind. If I purchase some clip art, I want to make sure that I can use the clip art to its full potential. Be able to go back to it and use it for something else going forward. Once I get into this mode, it's like, it is something. I 
all right guys what i'm gonna do is i'm going to try to find i know it's so bad i don't have my i don't have an office chair yet i don't have none of that okay y'all so i gotta tell y'all this i'm gonna be very honest i'm gonna talk that i don't mind using any type of clip art but my thing is is you really gotta look and that is the biggest thing you have the patience to look through and i mean you have to look search find and i know some shops that actually um go to you know tend to etsy for the clip art and everything but like for me it's it's the whole looking and i think i find a lot more ideas for me once browsing then i go ahead and you know what i'm saying then i'll start like okay you know what i think i actually know how i want mine to look what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys how i start off with my images my boxes and everything and then we're going to go from there right now i'm not going to use any type of clip art so um right now i could change my mind but at the same time um i do like to look up like simple images and little things like that and then i'll show you guys so i need to go upstairs actually because the little one he's up there watching tv but he's a little busy so i need to be up there to see what he's doing so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I know it's like so much I can get and I can get back into this and make a whole nother video. I wanna make it like not so confusing for you guys the first round, but you can find clip art and there's so many other websites that have clip art. And it's so it's so easy to go online and find like simple image, images for like a background or you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, yeah, let's find, let's see what I do as far as what I've seen. My juices are flowing, so let's see. Um, see how I'm going to start this off and I will get back to you guys. Thank you. 
All right, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and show you a little bit of what I do as far as going into design space. And I always automatically have a set template for everything. But what I'll do is I will just use the last kit that I used and just go from there just like we'll say i just need a full kit so last full kit i did was homie which been a while homie was my last full kit that i did everything was already sized with homie so i'm gonna keep it the way it is and actually gosh y'all i got another update with apple so i'm gonna make this as big as possible So, see if I can get y'all. I don't know, that lighting, right? It's just crazy. Alright, so I got this kit, right? And what I do is, I always keep these. Like these are always part of the kit, so I detach. This is not a tutorial, by the way. I'm just going to let y'all know. I'll just show y'all what I do. All right, and I keep these here. I move the backing card to the side, and that's what I do. So I upload. This is what I do. I know people automatically make their whole backing cards and everything in another application. I don't do that, so for now, I don't. Um, probably in the future, I will, but right now, I don't. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to view all, get every single full box for the kit. Right now, we're going to start with yellow, since that was the main one with the full kit i need nope not those i need this i need this i need this 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 one this one this one this one is that eight i didn't even count one of these are going to be in the other side so that's fine make sure two four five six seven eight okay so yes we're going to upload all of those images And then I highlight them all. I center them, align them center, right? And I also adjust the size so we know it's 1.5 by, and I do oop, unlock it so it won't change the other left side, 1.9. So I do 1.5 by 1.9. Then I will rotate it since everything is usually this way. I will rotate it at 270 degrees, boom. That way now, all I can do is place them however. Now, as I'm placing these, I'm also trying to see where do I want these to go. And let's say I wanted this one here. I'm just going to randomly put them all over, right? And then I'll make my adjustments as I go. Um, it's kind of interesting. I always make the very focal one at the very end. This would be like more like not towards the top, but like this is the top to me versus where the label is. So... 
I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. I think I want this one here and move this one over here, yeah. Um, this and then that bow. Okay, so now you see all of the ones together, right? And I got an extra one in here. It's the same one as that one, not a duplicate, okay. Alrighty, so looking at this, I really can't really see, so I'm trying to show you guys. I, tr I try to put everything together, line them up accordingly, kind of look at it like, uh, do I want it to look like that? Do I want this to be there? Maybe I will mix this up here. Maybe I will do that. The thing I like about this, and you will definitely see it with the paint because I see it, is that not every one of these yellows is the same yellow. They all are very different, but they have this, you know, matching yellow in each other's like pictures, depending on what it is. So that way it kind of flows. I don't like everything to be like one set color. Um, I like to do like different contrasts of colors. So definitely want the honey pot to be there. I was like, I want to do it even. So like, cause you know, I got this, if I put this here, let's say I switch them around, you know, you just kind of play with it, kind of figure out where you want all of your images to be. I think I want this one right here. Yeah, I think that would be cute. This one here, but this one, See how these ones matches? They are the same exact image except different. We're gonna move this one here. Move this one down. I'm gonna move this one here. And da -da 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 -da. move this one here. So I'm just rearranging as I go. Then once I get everything lined evenly together, vertically or horizontally, then I'll put the backing card back on and then I will save whatever I did and then that way I move on to the next sheet. And that's how I usually do it.